liberal fascist Sarah Silverman tweeted on Facebook on February 1st, Wake up and join the resistance. Once the military is with us, fascists get overthrown. Mad King and his handlers go bye-bye. Heart, 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 heart. Yes, Sarah Silverman, uh, martial law doesn't work. Martial law takes any country that has a democracy or any form of democracy and completely fucking demolishes it. Uh, so yeah, martial law is not the fucking answer. Anyway, um, I wanted to do this short video on how the left has become fascist. They literally have become the worst types of fascist. They become Nazi fascist. So, let just look at something real quick. So, allow me to explain something here. Milo Yiannopoulos, who is a gay, Jewish, conservative uh, editor and contributor for Breitbart, was going to give a speech at Berkeley, but he had to cancel due to these left-wing fascists basically ruining um, the possibility of that event even happening by destroying shit and saying, saying shit on fire. And he canceled the event because him and his boyfriend were there and he wanted, you know, to get out there safely. Um, so, besides this, these fascists on the left, they basically will harm anybody who's right-leaning or conservative. Now, they'll attack the libertarians and they'll attack conservatives. They'll, they pepper spray a girl, a woman, I should say. They pepper spray a young woman that had a hat on that says, Make Bitcoin Great Again. It's a parody of the Make America Great Again hats. It's a parody of it. But she was giving her opinion how she thought the protests were going peaceful. And some douchebag decided to pepper spray her for giving a, a honest opinion about the protest. Hmm. Well, isn't that tolerant? Anyway, these fascists on the left are dangerous, and if you know a fascist on the left, I would say refrain away from their gatherings because it just might get bloody. See you guys.